And now let's go over to our man, Mr. Chuck Butler. Chuck is the president, folks, of Everbank World Markets. I'm sure many of you uh, have read Chuck. He has the, the Daily Finney. It's an awesome uh, read each and every day. Well, the way you can do that, you just come over to everbank.com, and you're going to be able to uh, hunt. Actually, you can just Google everbank.com, Chuck Butler, uh, and the baby will pop right up. You can read it each and every uh, day. Uh, and if you happen to be uh, in Orlando at the upcoming Money Show, you're going to be able to uh, see Chuck. Chuck is going to be one of the uh, main speakers there. Chuck Butler, welcome to TFNN. Oh, well, thank you very much for the invite. Hey, I'll tell you, you know, when I was, when I was reading you today, I was, I was cracking up because the way, of course, that the Money Show does work is that they, they, want, the, uh, they want to know, okay, what you're going to talk about right now. And, you know... Being such uh, in the currency markets and the metal markets, that's like that's like years away, isn't it? In the February. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, uh, we used to think that uh, uh, it used to be that currencies and metals were long sweeping moves, and they were trends that you could follow for long periods of time. Yes. But since 2008, that all, all that game has changed. It's all over with, and now you. You need to be on the edge of your seat uh, just about every day. Yeah. You know, you know what has changed dramatically, too, which is really cool, is that folks have got to learn a lot more about currencies and how they move markets, Chuck, don't you think? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, we started speaking at the, at the World Money Show in 1998. Yes. And at that time... I was the only person on, on, on the list of speakers at that money show that was talking about investing in currencies and metals. Okay. Now, if you go to look, look at their list of speakers, well, they've got dozens of them, and they're all talking about the same thing. And Well, I mean, sort of talking about the same thing. Some are talking about actual trading you know, platforms where you move and you use leverage and stuff like that. that, that that's, that's for... That people that have really deep pockets and, and, and don't care about their money. Sure. But really, uh, to talk about how currencies are used as a diversifying feature of your investment portfolio, we're still only the, the only ones. And, and, well, and in that context, which is really cool, when you're at everbank.com, folks, what you're going to see is that they have, um, it's called a market safe BRICS CD. And what's so intriguing about this is that uh, the way that it's set up, um, you know, it's set up as a CD, but the fact of the matter is, is that uh, you are putting U.S. dollars in. You're saying that, okay, you want to look at the BRIC currencies, and if the currencies go up against what you, you put it, because the initial date, uh, the final date is December 3rd, um, you make money. But guess what? If the currencies go against you, you basically get your principal back. Can you talk a little bit about how you put that product together? Because that's really intriguing, man. Yes. Uh, you know, what we found over the years is that uh, uh, people really do like having uh, the ability to invest in something that they think has, has potential but has risk. Yes. But if you take the risk portion out of that, then that gives them – that that you know that invincibility that Superman T-shirt that they get to wear, sure. uh, saying that they have they now have the opportunity to invest in this this section, and not experience any uh, 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 movement uh, uh, in risk. So that is uh, that's why we put these things together. I mean, we've had market safe CDs that have been based on gold, silver, um, uh, Japanese REITs, commodities, the S and P 500. I mean, we've had them across the board on all sorts of things. The one we did before this one was called the Treasury one, and it bet on whether the Treasury interest rate would be higher in five years versus where it is now. Okay. Um, and, 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 and so, uh, you know, that's, that's the sort of thing that people say, oh, well, I think interest rates are going to be higher in five years than they are now. Uh, but, I, you know, but if I buy a bond, that's a loss if the, if the, if the interest rates go up. But sure. if I buy this... I gain if bonds go up, you know, if the rates go up. So that's how that's how we put them together. It's really just a, a basis of seeing where people want to have an opportunity to take advantage of, of potential gains and not experience any risk. Right. And that's, the, you know, with these BRICS, uh, it's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Uh, 
we're talking about countries that have come together and formed a new, uh, you know, development bank that's going to compete with the IMF. So now these countries can can now, um, you know, go to their own uh, development bank for loans or actually give loans to other emerging countries without them having to get on their knees and beg to the IMF for a payout. And you know what's so cool here? It says, so watch, folks, okay? You have until now, until December 3rd, to basically make the deposit. The deposit has to stay there for three years. Uh, there's no monthly fee. But what's so cool, Chair Chuck, and this is where I want to talk to you about the dollar. The dollar has been on a tear. So the, yeah. the, what you have here on the reality-wise, like, okay, it's on the tear. It's trying to test the swing highs of 2010 right now. So it seems that, you know, if people are bullish on those currencies anyway, this would be a sweet time to basically, you're covering your downside because you can't lose any money, but you can get that upside if, in fact, that's where this goes. Yes, and exactly. And, you know, when we put when we go to put a, a market safe together like this one right now, yes. and we have this funding period, and all during that funding period, we see those currencies moving down, that gives everyone a better opportunity to buy at a lower price. Right, right. And, and that is what you always want to do when you're doing any kind of investing. You want to look for that low price uh, to buy so that you can buy more and you have a lower cost basis. Yeah, no and, doubt. And, and, and with the dollar having a little bit of enjoyment here um, since around July or August of this year, uh, it, it has brought these currencies to levels that are much cheaper than they were before and excellent buying opportunities. Yeah. You know, a few years ago, uh, we get a lot of calls and currencies here. And what I thought was so cool, and you may still have this product, um, but we were getting calls uh, for folks that they had children that were going to school in the U.K., okay? And what the folks were doing, and they were asking me, well, listen, you know, we're going over to Everbank, and they have an account that I can put U.S. dollars in, and then the, that gets converted, uh, you know, into British pounds, okay? Um, and I remember specifically they were asking me, and I says, well, that's so cool. I says, because that's when you're delta neutral. You're matching. You know that you're going to have a bill of twenty or $30,000 next year. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so if you, you want to take out that currency risk, well, yeah, that's a, that's a good bank account to have, right? That is, that is exactly correct. Uh, you know, basically we have had these, those types of accounts for, for since 1985. Okay. Um, and uh, what they do is they, they are called uh, uh, access accounts. And they're like a savings account at a bank, but they're denominated in over 20 different currencies. Yes. And you choose the currency that you want to own. And then it's a liquid account, so you can, you can buy or sell it at any time. Right. Uh, you know that we're open Monday to Friday. Sure. So, uh, or you can buy it and then use it to pay for an obligation overseas. Make a foreign, you know, and we'll yes. affect the foreign wire for that person. Right. Um, and uh, that's what a lot of people have used uh, those those access accounts for. No, you and can. Then, uh, in addition to the access accounts, we also have CDs that are three, six, and twelve month CDs that are denominated in, in those same type 20 different currencies. So you can uh, either have it in a CD or a uh, liquid uh, savings account. Yeah, that, that is so creative. You, I mean, you, you, you folks have got so creative there. It's amazing. And what's so cool is that we know that boundaries now are one click of a button, right? I mean, you know, you, you, can, you can move anywhere you want, but it's nice that you can actually move anywhere you want in the context that whether you're paying bills like that and or... You think that the dollar right now is at the top of its range and you might want to basically get a brick and say, okay, I'll put my money in this and say, I know I can't lose money, which, which in itself almost sounds like, oh, this can't be real, but we know that it is, right? <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you know, that's the thing. Uh, you know, we've had several of these, like I said, we've, we've done these for years. And we've sure. had several, several of them mature over the years and people are always very happy to find out that if the thing that they were invested in didn't take off uh, like they thought it was going to, they get their principal back. Yeah. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful thing that I think that, uh, that we came up with many, many years ago. Yeah. Well, listen, we really appreciate you having on. Look forward to having you on a lot. We, I want to talk more about the dollar. I want to talk about gold. I want to talk about silver. 
Uh, the oil market's getting whacked out here today, big time, you know. So there's no doubt that, uh, as you said at the beginning of the conversation, uh, between currencies and, and commodities, these things move, and they move very fast these days. Yes, and, and, and you know, and I look forward to having these discussions with you because, uh, uh, you know, I, I always look at it as, as my opportunity to get my point across to everyone that these are things that they should be looking at on a daily basis. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, Chuck, you have a great night, safe night, and, of course, we look forward to reading uh, uh, The Finnick tomorrow morning. All right, well, thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. All right. You stay have right there, day. folks. Absolutely. We're coming right back. Dow's up 45, Nasdaq's up 4, S&P's uh, up 1.5. We're going to be right back.